Should you learn ASP.NET in 2021? Well, you reach the right video. Let me explain. This video is brought to you by DigiLink Academy, your number one source to learning programming fast and get to that six figure freelance salary you desire. Our courses include our SQL project course, our freelance Kickstarter, our Python course, and our interview programming course, and much, much more. So if you haven't already, go ahead and click the link below to get to our free seven step freelance guide so that we can help take your career to the next level. I'll see you guys in the course. All right, guys, ASP.NET is a very critical framework when it comes to C Sharp. Should you learn it? Yes. Is this a very critical part of web development? Yes, you should learn it. But the problem is a lot of you guys are spread so thin on what to learn. You just don't know where to focus on an ASP, ASP.NET, a lot of other uh, frameworks, PHP, uh, Laravel, um, Spring Boot, so many other frameworks out here. You are confused on what to learn first. If you do anything with C Sharp, ASP.NET web development, ASP.NET is the way to go. And we're going to focus on that today here. So. What's the benefit of ASP.NET? You guys, are you probably using a web browser or some kind of application right now, a web-based application? Do you see the power of web apps? ASP.NET gives you all of that in a structure where you can deploy things pretty easily. It's tested, it has structure, it's, uh, it's backed by Microsoft, a lot of good benefits. You need to learn ASP.NET. In the enterprise world, it's gonna give you a leg up because a lot of people, contrary to popular belief, you got all these new frameworks and um, applications and programming languages out there, but at the end of the day, Java and C Sharp are king of the enterprise and that's not gonna change anytime soon. So you need to learn ASP.NET. On top of that, you're gonna have a lot of um, improvements to this as well. You got Microsoft continually adding to the toolbox. So you're going to always have that company backing that's going to help evolve this in the application development world. So you need to learn this guys. This is very important that you guys know at the end of the day, you have a tool bag that's going to be current that you can get a job today and you can go to basically any city in the United, any major city in the United States and you're going to have some form of a C sharp job. Um, usually you got C sharp, Java, um, Python, uh, JavaScript for the front end developers, um, some PHP for the freelancers, uh, some legacy stuff with uh, Perl and um, what's the other one, Ruby. Not so much of the legacy stuff, but it does exist. But C Sharp is going to be always on top of that list along with um, C, C++ and all that guys. So my point is ASP.NET ASP is a good language to learn in 2021. But you have to, first of all, are you in the process of uh, trying to get your first development job? You need to find out who need ASP.NET in your local region. And if there's a good amount of companies, professional services, hospitals, transportation companies, they're probably going to use C Sharp, especially if they're a Microsoft shop. They're probably going to be having demand for uh, web development. ASP.NET is where you want to be. But there's some areas as well who are Java shops that may not necessarily need ASP.NET, but ASP.NET, the MVC model, it's easily translated on the Java side because Java and C Sharp is similar. And then you can use Spring Boot in a similar fashion as well. So there are some benefits there. Find out what your local job market looks like. Get you some projects. Showcase those projects. Find work specifically for the projects you complete. Real world projects. I'm not talking about hello world and all that. I'm talking about industry problems that you solve using code. You need to jump on that, guys. But at the end of the day, I can't cover everything in this video. So what I want you guys to do is two things for me. Number one, share your experience below. Um, have you had problems learning ASP.NET? Are there jobs in your region with ASP.NET? Do you feel like ASP.NET is a learnable framework? Comment below. I wanna know your insights on it. I wanna kind of figure out how people are perceiving ASP.NET. I know in the past, especially if you guys did this in the early 2000s, you remember the really buggy versions of ASP.NET, those early versions, which is was pretty buggy. It was it was bad. 
but it's matured to the point to where it's, 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 it's pretty seamless once everything dialed in correctly. Um, you got your systems in place. You kind of worked out some of the initial hurdles and challenges. Everything else works out pretty good at that point, guys. So let's do this. So you're going to share that with me. The number one thing I need you to do. Number two, if you haven't already, go ahead. Links in the description box to my seven step guide. We jump into ways you can learn fast, showcase your uh, cre uh, create projects and showcase them in an interview and also be able to find work as well. And if you haven't, if you already signed up for my seven step guide, go check out some of my premium courses, guys. It's gonna help take your career to the next level. And you're gonna be able to learn C Sharp much faster with uh, some of the resources we have below premium courses as well. So go ahead and check those out for me, guys. And uh, we'll help you get started here. So at the end of the day, I like C Sharp. Um, it's not the most easiest language to learn. It wouldn't be the first language I would get you to learn unless you had a job out of the gate saying, if you learn C Sharp, you would get this job. I always tell people so I can get you some quick wins. Start with PHP, JavaScript or um, Python. Um, usually PHP, JavaScript or Python. One of those three languages you learn first because you're going to get some good quick wins. They got some a, a huge community online. It's not that intimidating as a Java C sharp, but you, you can really kind of learn how to do it in that non enterprise world. So any of those three are good programming languages to learn first. Get comfortable with programming, learn how to write basic training applications and things like that. Hello world, print stuff to the screen, scripts on automating, um, open a program, that kind of stuff. Just, just the whole syntax of programming and the mindset. Once you kind of get those basic fundamentals out of the way, the arrays, the variables, all that stuff, then you jump over to C Sharp, ASP.net. Same concept apply. Syntax is a little different, but at the end of the day, if you get the basics down, you should be good to go on that. And I feel pretty confident you'll be ready to go on that, guys. So um, it's 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 so it's so uh, much of a challenge for me to give everybody advice about um, different programming languages. I'm trying to do a better job at it. Every you got to understand that software development is evolving to a point that even though all of us are software engineers or developers, we're specific based off of the industry and the company requirements. So a software developer for Silicon Valley um, Fang company, and it could be drastically different than a uh, software developer or software engineer for a professional services company or for a transportation company or for a hospital. Your day-to-day -day job will be different, even though you're using the same programming language. So my point is there's a lot of different uh, ways to become a software developer, but all of them start with getting that syntax together, learning on fundamental solving problems, guys, just the basic stuff that most people forget. Y'all get into the tool bag and just think it's all about programming language, programming language, programming language, which programming language is a, pr a pretty good component of it but you got to get into this problem solving the troubleshooting identifying the issues and being able to put bring all that together to become a, a more solid a more refined more rich, mature developer so at the end of the day like subscribe to the content if you have additional questions comment below if you feel like uh, this helped you out go ahead let's start a conversation below like subscribe to the content and i'll put a uh, link to my seven step guide here and um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.